What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and today I'm going to be doing a high-key uh, strobist or off-camera flash tutorial. Um, I've done a low-key one in the past, if you haven't yet, you can check that out in my channel. But it has been getting a lot of views lately, so I thought I'd do a high-key uh, strobist or off-camera flash tutorial for those of you that are curious on how uh, I do it. You know, there are tons of ways to do it, but the way that I'm going to teach you is specifically how um, I do it. And it's worked for me, and it will probably work for you as well. And today's picture is going to be a self-portrait with my new Leica M3, um, which some of you already know that I got um, if you guys are following the Facebook page. But yeah, I wanted to do a picture with this camera and I thought a high key one would suit the look that I'm going for. I might try a low key one in the future, but for today's tutorial, we're going to do a high key shot. And you can probably see the setup in the back over there. So I'll run you through the, the different equipment that we're going to be using uh, for today's shoot. So first off is the Canon 5D Mark II and the 17-40 uh, to f4 lens and I really like this lens especially for self-portraits because it allows me to um, keep the camera up close while still getting you know um, everything in the photo and not having it too zoomed in. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for me if I don't have a remote and uh, that sort of thing. And over here we have the key light. This is going to be the um, one that's lighting my face. This is the Young Newell YN560, which I always talk about. And the transmitter, I mean the receiver, is the Young Newell RF602, which is also on top of the camera. And the modifier we're using is the reflective umbrella. And you can use the shoot through as well, but I don't have my shoot through with me, so uh, this is what I'm going to be using. And this is the second flash. This is the 580EX2, and it is also being um, triggered with the Young Newell um, RF602s. And that is going to light up this white wall. And you kind of just have to, um, you know, check for it. Um, keep on increasing the light until the wall is completely white. And you actually don't need a white wall to start off with. I have this off-white wall. Um, but you can blow out any colored wall as long as you have enough flash power. So. Uh, that's something to remember. All right, so the camera is attached to my 5D. I hope it's not too shaky when I move the camera around, but you guys let me know how that is in the comment section below if it bothers you or not. Um, so what I'm going to do first is going to test out the light that's going to make the background completely white. And you just set it to whatever power you want, um, you know, based on your camera's exposure and just adjust it accordingly. So I'm going to take a few test shots just to see how bright the wall actually gets. And I have the diffuser just to like spread out the light a little bit more. It works with and without. You just have to do uh, your own testing to figure it out. Alright, so the pictures of the wall look um, fairly good. I have the uh, flash power. Oh, it's actually at full power, so it's, you know, it's good that I can actually get it completely white because otherwise I'd have to bump up my uh, ISO or something to get the wall completely white. But it's good that you know, the wall is completely white. So now I'm going to turn on this light over here. And set the power. And it's around 45 degrees, but um, you you know you can play around with the light. Some people like having it, um, you know, directly in front and like sort of above to give the light uh, on top and then the, sh the shadow on the bottom. But you can play around with that uh, depending on the look that you want. But I have it here 45 degrees, and it's actually at almost full power right now. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to put the uh, camera on timer. And make sure the autofocus is on. So this is how I usually do my um, self-portraits. The camera's like right here so that I can um, touch the uh, shutter button and then set the timer off. I used to use a remote, but I don't have it right now, so this is how um, 
we're going to take the picture. So let's focus and pose. It's a little awkward. And we look at the picture. And I actually don't think that this flash fired. I think it um it went on to a sleep mode. So let's do that again. Focus and pose. Another 10 seconds of awkwardness. So let's take a look at the picture. And that looks really good actually. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, we'll take a few more. Um, let's try this. No. Okay. And I think we're set. I'm going to show you guys the pictures now. Um, and maybe show you how I edit them. So. So here is the final image that I decided to choose. Um, I'm going to post a link to this photo in the description box down below. Once I've decided um, if I'm going to do it in color or in black and white, I actually like um, how both of them are. Uh, so you tell me if you like the colored one or the black and white better, uh, the black and white one better. Uh, leave that in the comment box down below. And yeah. So that's it guys, I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. Uh, if you do something differently with your uh, high key photography pictures, um, feel free to let me know because I am growing as a photographer and you know I, I, I need all the help that I can get. Um, so yeah, leave that in the comment box down below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, please like this video if it did help you. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.